Hey, how's it going guys? Zach Cox here, and in today's GTA Retro video, we're going to be talking about the history of casinos in the GTA series and the prominent but minor roles that they've actually played since the release of GTA 3 back in 2001. Now, what's initially brought this idea about is the fact that since the release of GTA 5 almost two years ago now, as a community, I could confidently say that most of us have probably been anticipating the opening of the Vinewood Casino in GTA 5 since the game's release, of course, and unfortunately that's not happened yet. Fingers crossed and hopefully it does in the near future because in the last few months and just in the last year overall, there's been many leaks regarding the casino in GTA 5 and the fact that if a single player DLC does come to the game, the casino will open along with it. So that would be very awesome because back in GTA 3, this is the first time that we ever saw a casino in the series and basically it was inaccessible unfortunately, but it was called Kenji's Casino and it was a hub for the Yakuza clan or gang and basically it was a place where Claude, the protagonist of GTA 3 of course, was supplied with missions for this gang and he would help him out. So that's the only significance of a casino in GTA 3. And then moving on to the next GTA title, San Andreas of course, that is where casinos gained their significance in the series and just became what we hope to see in GTA 5. And in GTA San Andreas in a city called Las Venturas, which is a play on Las Vegas, Nevada, USA of course, there are over 12 different casinos, however, only three of them in the game are accessible and basically these casinos that are accessible offer different gambling options and wager options that allow you to win different kinds of money and just different things like that and you have different games to choose from you got blackjack roulette video poker wheel of fortune slots and just different things like that so it's very cool because you can win loads of money from the casino in game as well as you can actually borrow money from the casino and fun little fact if you actually don't have enough money to repay the funds that you borrowed, loan sharks are going to start calling you and they're also going to make attempts to kill you using micro Uzis and AK-47. So that's a very interesting little fact. And overall with the implementation of casinos into San Andreas and the significance that they actually play within the storyline, which I'm not going to get into, it's very, very awesome just with the options of being able just to use this as a source to gain in-game money. Now, moving on to GTA Liberty City Stories once again. This is just taking place a few years before GTA 3, so nothing too much has changed. There's actually three different casinos in that game. There's the Big Shot Casino, which actually turns into Kenji's Casino, I believe, like we mentioned earlier, as well as the Leon Casino and the Doll's House Casino. And once again, these are inaccessible, of course, but they're still casinos that do appear in the series. Now, moving on to GTA 4, the most recent Grand Theft Auto, of course, there is a casino in that game some of you guys may or may not know about, and this is the Alderney Casino. And once again, unfortunately, we could already probably guess that this is an inaccessible casino. However, that's not the case. This casino is abandoned. It's just an old casino in ruins and inside of it you can find just different bums laying around sex toys and just different little easter eggs and things like that so it actually is a it plays a role in gta 4 being the setting and location for a couple different missions in game as well as in gta 4 online i'm guessing that's what you'd refer to it as uh, you can also use this to access a helicopter that spawns on the roof, so that's very cool as well. And then moving on to GTA 5, of course we've got the Vinewood Casino that's had an opening soon sign on it since the release of GTA 5. And the only use of the casino in game is through a cutscene with Trevor when you switch to him. And it shows him being kicked out of the casino by two guards. And he says he wasn't cheating, I believe, or something along those lines. So that's very, very interesting. But hopefully soon, within the future, we will see the opening of the casino in GTA 5. Featuring different types of gambling wagers that we saw in San Andreas. That would spice the game up a lot more. Allowing us to just gain legitimate GTA 5 money through a legitimate source. So if you guys did enjoy the video, of course, and learned something new today, definitely be sure to leave a like rating down below. And also don't forget to subscribe, of course, for some more daily GTA content on my channel. And with that said and out of the way, you guys all take it easy, have a safe one, and I will see you all in the next video.